Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Evoland, released in 2013 for the PC. Developed and published by Shiro Games, Evoland is a role-playing game that will take us through the evolution of the RPG genre, hence the name Evoland. Beyond that, however, I have no idea what is to come, because I have never played this game before. If I try to press continue, Nothing happens because there are no saves for me to continue. With this being a completely blind run, please do not post any spoilers in the comments. I will inevitably miss things, but such is the nature of me playing games, and the nature of anyone playing games that they'd never played before. I will explore, find what I find, and I'm sure I'll get to the end in the end. With that said, there's really nothing else for me to explore here because the options are quite sparse. We have the music and sound volumes, we have what language we want to play in, and if we want to play with the gamepad. Unfortunately, my gamepad is not recognised by this game, so we're going to be playing with the keyboard, which is actually quite apt for very early RPGs, but is quickly going to not be apt for later ones. It all depends on how far back we start. Let's find out by starting. New game. Oh, this is very, very old. There seems to be some chest to open this way. We can go left, we can go- Oh, we can't even go left! We can only go right! And there is a chest here that will hopefully have something that will help me go left. There's no music, there are no sounds, and there's only a tiny amount of pixels. We got the left key! Always going right is boring. Now we can go two ways! Let us go to this one and see what else we can unlock. So we only started with the ability to press one button. Now we can press two. And I wonder if this will give me the options to press up and down. Yes! We have 2D movement! That's good! You can't go anywhere else anyway. Indeed, because things are blocking our way. Who are we? What are we doing? We have no idea, but let us explore our surroundings and find that there is indeed nothing else that we can do. We can't chop down the trees, we can't attack, we can only go up in this mostly monochrome world. I say mostly because there is a subtle shade of green that is obviously trying to emulate the look of the Game Boy. Let's go forward. Basic scrolling. You want to see where you're heading, right? No, actually I don't, game. I really don't. But we're going to have to find out how the scrolling works anyway. Ooh, like that. We have rocks! We can't do anything with the rocks because we don't actually have the ability to interact with anything yet. All we can do is move. Ooh, but there's another chest here. Let's see what's in this. Sound effect! The game is much more alive this way. That it is! We got a ding! Will we get other dings? I'm sure we will. Ooh, we're gonna get other goodies, though! Smoother scrolling! We'll save you some headaches! Ooh, that is smoother! A lot smoother, and my, was this quite an advancement back in the day, having scrolling this smooth. No encounters on the bridge? Also, we have footsteps! I've only just noticed that we have footsteps! Very subtle sound, but it adds that extra layer of depth to the game. No animations for the background yet, just animations for us moving. We got a sword! You can now kill the evil monsters and cut down bushes. Ha ha! How do we do this? Ah, with space! Okay. So we have to now cut down some bushes to make some headway. Like over there. Over here? No, nothing here that we can do, but there is something over here. Hopefully that uh, get item ditty will improve as we go through the video game generations. We got rid of that. We have monsters! Be careful not to touch them! It's a giant squid-like thing. It's very apt. And it makes a really odd noise when we defeat them, like they're deflating! And we have music! Evil and Tune, topping the charts since 2012. It's so heroic! Let us heroically move forward, and get rid of this bush. Heroically! Ooh, save point? If it is, we can't use it, so let's go this way. 16 color display! OMG! Color! 
Ooh, we've moved from the original Game Boy to the Game Boy Color. And we have save points. An evolution that's going to change forever. Things forever, indeed. You are safe. Marvelous. Let's defeat you. We now know that you are a brown squid thingamajig. We have things we need to get, though. Anything here? No, nothing here. I saw a, a treasure chest that I want to get. I don't know how to get that. So let's explore around here first before we uh, move on. Is there anything over here? There is a uh, shrub here. Ooh. A star! Collect all the hidden stars in Evoland. I'll try. What else is over here? A card bat. A new card to play Double Twin. Is Double Twin a card game a la Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII? Because I was terrible at Triple Triad. I'm probably going to be terrible at this too. But either way, we must move forward and heroically move around and defeat squid monsters. And watch the go... That is ever the sound that is in my head whenever I defeat enemies. Defeat the epic boss in a new game? As it always should be. Anything over here? The answer is... There's a rock. I feel like we're going to have to destroy rocks eventually. But eventually is... Oop, there's a bat. I need to watch out for that bat. We also want to get these goodies. We have the plot! After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the whole of Evolandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. Also, that music was really, really trying to, uh, tap into Final Fantasy VI. This plot is so deep and rich. It's a plot, I'll give you that. It's it's not deep and it's not rich, but back then, plots weren't deep and rich. And we got another star. But not exactly a hidden star, but hey, it's a star. Hello, you. I wish to do battle. Aha! Ooh, a 256 color display. This is almost real graphics, isn't it? We're certainly going up in the world. Everything is becoming more rich, more vibrant! Oh, we're still stabbing things with our sword. Aha! A sign panel! Luckily, it seems your hero knows how to read these signs. That's handy. This path is reserved for agile adventures. Or rather, adventurers. I suppose you are having an agile adventure if you are an agile adventurer and you're going this way. Or are you? Now, there is an age-old question. Now, that bat is trying to evade me. You will not evade me, and evade me it did not. What is over to the right here? I am curious. The answer is a place we cannot go, because there is something in the way. Alright, you, person that has the- ooh, can't do anything with that. Free movement! Oh, we can move around however we like now. And that is marvelous. The access has been blocked by the Dimensional Stone. Try the path to the east. What path to the east are you referring to? I didn't see a path to the east. This way we can't... Oh! We can now squeeze through the rocks. Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm curious. There was a way before that I couldn't go. I wonder if we can now go that way because we can squeeze past things. Can't go there, but there are other things we... Well, we can't go that way either. That uh, stone is in the way. Can't go that way. Okay, we can't squeeze through there either. We are going to have to get some way to smash rocks, aren't we? Maybe we get a rock-smashing hammer. Either way, I'm really enjoying uh, this uh, moving through the uh, graphical upgrades and the gameplay upgrades that slowly happened over time. Also, nothing hidden there. So we're here, and we can now go east between these rocks and get to the save point. Ooh, statues. They're either going to come to life, or they're just there to be ominous. An inventory! Ooh, we have an inventory! We have uh, no money, we have one of 23 thingamies, and those must be cards, and two out of 30 stars. Excellent! 
not gonna be able to get past that, are we? Nope. Oh! But you can come to life, though. And you die just as anyone else would. If you actually try to attack me... Ooh, path unlocked. Killing all the monsters will sometimes help you on your quest. That's very Zelda-like. We got the overworld! Exploring the world is always nice, but beware of random encounters. This will bring us back to here because we do want to come back here at some point. There are things we'll need to unlock. But for now, let us move forward and get a massive chest here the size of a mountain. And thus, we came across Chest Mountain. Turn-based battle. Let's change to a different fighting style. Well, ooh, this is an Emuk. Well, let us attack it. Aha! Have at thee! I didn't want you to hit me, you know. This is very Final Fantasy. We don't even know what our name is yet. And we don't have any items that will help us, but victory was ours, and we have won 50 Gliz. Definitely not gills, folks. Definitely not gill. Nothing over here except mountains and emptiness. I wonder... Oh, never mind. No time to think of that. We have slimes to defeat. Ever a first-level encounter in many role-playing games. And we are really getting badly hurt here. Hopefully save points fully restore our health. I somehow doubt it. We're probably going to need to use an inn. Maybe we'll get more companions. Maybe we'll get more money. Should we follow the path? We probably should. But first I'm going to go over here and find nothing. Okay. I found a random encounter with another Emuk. The Emuk seems to be carrying things, which makes me wonder where the rider for the Emuk is. We'll probably never know. And we're only getting Gliz. We are not getting any uh, experience. Ooh, Mode 7! It looked really gorgeous when it was introduced back in 1990. Oh my! Now we are definitely in the era of the Super Nintendo. But enough about that! Time to fight another Emark! You could say that these encounters are running Emark, eh? <laughs> Never mind, let's just keep going. And defeat the Emark. And gain more Gliz! Hopefully this Gliz is going to be useful. Ooh, another area like this. We have place names. You will learn the name of places you travel to. We are in... Let's go out and in to find out uh, where this is. It's the meadow. Okay. More statues, eh? Loads of statues. Hopefully they all won't uh, come to life immediately. We can't get past these. Anything over here? Nope. This looks like a massive arena full of... Ooh, full of saving. I like saving. Saving is good. And we can't really go that way. I'm gonna defeat these. How about thee? Oh, don't hurt me. Oh, your shield works to uh, block damage. Good to know. Good to know. Let's, oh, careful. We can also hit you from the side, which is good. And thee was had at. You're the last one, knight of... Nightia, the ancient kingdom of knights. And soon you will be gone. Chest unlocked. Killing all the monsters can also unlock treasures. Marvelous! It's a village, everyone! Papunica Village. Why do villages always have such annoying music? I don't know. Some uh, villages have great music. Let's look around and talk to people. Uh, that is, if we can talk to people. Do we actually have the ability to engage in dialogue? I've no idea, but so far we haven't found a single person to talk to yet. We're going to have to unlock NPCs, aren't we? Oh, we probably are. Or maybe they're in... Oh. Enter houses! Now you can freely invade people's privacy and smash all of their parts. Let's go in. Ooh, and get something. The innkeeper! A nice bed is waiting for you at a decent price. Hello, you. I'll be back in a moment. I'm looking around and seeing if I can find anything. How to save the world with Hero's Crystal by H. Sakaguchi. I don't think I will need this. You probably won't. Mind Fight by A. Zephyrus. Doesn't look like a very fun read. There is a fireplace. Let's say hello to you. 
You look tired. What about resting in our cozy inn? It would only cost you ten gliz. Yes. Inditty? I'll take it. It's not Ninditty, but it'll do. Also, we can save our game by doing that, and I like that. And I wonder if that is the uh, list of people currently at the inn, aka it's just us. And I want to see what's here. Nothing is here. Ooh, a thousand and one monsters to kill in one shot by Chuck N. For the hardcore adventurer. I don't think we're hardcore, but we'll certainly look around and see what we can find. Like more people. Also, this music is looping quite quickly. Maybe this game had a point about this particular village ditty. Right, let's find another building. Like this one! Doors are quite massive. All your chests are belong to us. Lost in translation, I guess. Oh, oh, I see what you did there, game! I see what you did there. How to cook an emug by KFC. Yummy! Yummy depends entirely on if you like Emak. Ooh, a shopkeeper. You can always spend your gliz with that guy. That's good. Anything in the barrel? 50 gliz! Aha! Rewarded for exploring. Rewarded for taking things that don't belong to us. Sorry, the National Sword Association does not allow us to sell weapons to children yet. Oh, but I'm trying to save the world. Do we have to grow up into an adult first? We may have to. We'll be back once we've found a way to buy things from you. Let's see if we can uh, find another store. Is there another place of- Ooh! An NPC! At last, someone to talk to. Or not. Uh, hello? Sorry, I don't speak to children. Well, you were right, Prompt. We can't speak to you. We're definitely going to have to grow up before we can uh, get anything. But we do have a sword. We got the card. Talk. We literally have two cards to play this game with. I don't think we have a full deck. Nothing here. Nothing here. The medium is the message by M. McLuhan. Very fitting. Very fitting indeed. The ultimate guide to everything by S. Miyamoto. What a genius. I definitely think that was a reference. And we found a potion. Hooray! Healing. There's a puzzle there I'm probably going to need to solve, but I can't yet because I am not an adult. Maybe we have to unlock time mechanics? Maybe we do. Hello. Stop bothering me. Go play with other children. No. I must save the world. If I can. That is a, a very big if, because my, am I not doing very well? Hello. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. Have you not seen how bright it is here? Enter the well, be careful. It's very dark down there. We are not entering the well yet. If you're not a nice boy, the evil Kefka's ghost will come and eat you. That's not encouraging. I'd rather not be eaten. Let's go into here and see what we can do. It's locked. Well, you know what that means. We're going down the well. A secret place. What on earth are you doing in this place? I know what I'm doing in this place. I am trying to find goodies. Why else would I be down the well? I want this. The card worm. I can now play more double twin. I probably still don't have enough cards to actually make a complete deck, and I have no idea how the game works. Also, that doesn't look like it should be here, but either way, ooh, the magic levitating nut. You have found a strange seed. Do you want to eat it? Uh, no, but methinks I don't have much of a choice. Let us eat the strange seed. Magic! Oh, we have grown! Grow taller. What's with all the kids in video games anyway? Now we are older, and everyone will want to say hi to us now. I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the North Caves. And you wouldn't tell a child this because? Look, I'm even wearing what looks like part of a helmet. A girl has visited us earlier. Is she a friend of yours? Maybe. I'll find out when I meet her, although considering I just appeared in this world and the graphics were much worse back then, the answer's probably no. The 
Crystal Caves to the north are a dangerous place. It is said Kefka's ghost lives here, but no adventurer has ever come back to tell us. You're very talkative now that we have grown. Can we talk to you? There are quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. We won't let you pass with your current equipment. Which means we're gonna have to do some grinding! Hooray! Probably not actually, I imagine we have more than enough money at the moment. Welcome to the Papunica Village. Please enjoy your stay with us. Thank you! It's so nice to encounter friendly people. Adults are not funny. They always complain about us children. If only I could eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found has fallen down the well. I'm too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. Well, chokes on you! I found it and ate it. It was delicious and magical. So magical. We're gonna go to the inn and save. And when we come back, folks, we will explore the town a little bit more and, or village rather, it's not big enough to be a town, and get some more equipment. After all, we, ooh, this is a little bit better. We now have 100 health here, eight attack, zero defense, two potions, and we still don't know what our name is. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure, when the game gives us the ability to name ourselves. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.